Hello and welcome to the 24-7 Sports YouTube page. We have a very special announcement today as Reed Ducharme from Brewster Academy in Boston makes his college decision. I know you guys watching already know who he is, but let's recap just to remind you. The four-star small forward is a top 100 prospect according to 24-7 Sports. The composite rankings have him at 93. Ducharme is deciding between Penn State, Xavier, and Syracuse. Let's hear from the man himself. Reed is here with us today. Reed, thank you so much for joining us. First off, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Um, thank you for having me. I'm excited. Can't wait. All right. I know it's been a lot of hard work to get to this day. Explain to me a little bit about what the process is like to come to decision day. Um, I mean, it's been a very long process um, over many years of hard work and um, the process of all the recruiting and figuring out what school I want, narrowing it down. Uh, it's been hard, but um, excited to finally um, have narrowed down my decision. Yeah, have you been able to think back on all the camps growing up as a kid and all the traveling and all the work that you've put in to arrive at this day? Are you proud of, of how far you've made it? Oh, definitely. I mean, I would, I would never have thought I'd, been, I'd be in this position, getting the, some of the recognition I've gotten so far. Um, it's just really, it's, it's great to see all the progress that I've, that I've, uh, that I've made. Yeah, and you've gotten a lot of different schools attention, but we're narrowing it down to three here. You're going to narrow it down to the main one in just a second, but first let's go through these schools and, and what the process was like and visiting them on campus and just your general thoughts about Penn State, Xavier and Syracuse. Um, yeah, so I've, I've taken official visits to all three schools. Um, earlier this summer and I mean I loved all of them I wouldn't say any of them I've had bad experience with it's not like I don't like one school it's just that one school has a has, is more of a fit for me and I feel like I'll succeed there the be the most and um, this is the right spot for me all right without further ado Reed tell us where you headed um, first I want to start off by saying you know thank you to my parents and sisters who have been with me this whole way and who have helped me um, turn into the person and player I am today. And um, thank you to all the coaches, friends, and families that have helped me along, along the road. But um, uh, after a lot of thought and a lot of decisions and a lot of time, um, I would like to say that I'm committing to Xavier. Awesome. Congratulations, Reed. I know that this was probably a difficult decision to arrive at. You you mentioned about all the great schools and great visits that you've been on. Why the Musketeers? Um, thank you. I appreciate it. But um, I'd say I chose the Musketeers because I really love Sean Miller. Um, he showed a lot of trust in me, um, a lot of uh, a lot of long talks with him about what he thinks I can be and how much confidence he has in me, especially being one of the first classes that he recruited um, at Xavier. Um, it's really special to have a coach that trusts me that much and um, is willing to, you know, give me that roster spot. It's awesome. Yeah, how unique an opportunity is it to come in and Sean Miller's first class? Do you feel like there's a little extra pressure? You really got to make it count? Uh, yeah, I mean, always good pressure. Um, definitely thrive under pressure. Um, I look at it as a, as a great opportunity as someone that he's so accomplished and he's willing to put his trust into me. It, it really means a lot. Yeah, what is it about Sean Miller and his coaching style that you think fits with your playing style? Um, he's one of the coaches that really takes pride in his defense and his work ethic. And um, I've talked to former players of his that he's going to reward hard work. And I'm definitely the type of player that's going to work hard to get the results. Um, I feel like he's, he's done it. He's um, coached a lot of players like me. He's made, turned those players into successful players and be on the college level. And um, I'm hoping I can do the same thing. Awesome. We can't wait to see you what or to see you play. I am, I'm super excited. And thank you so much for taking this time to talk to us. And once again, congratulations. It's out there. Everybody knows Reed Ducharme is headed to Xavier. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, we are not done talking about it. We're going to bring in 24-7 Sports Director of Recruiting, Adam Finkelstein. And Adam, what is Xavier getting in a player like Reed Ducharme? 
Well, they are getting an ultra tough and ultra competitive young man. I mean, this is someone that I've watched throughout all three plus years of his high school career now, and he gets better at every step along the way. And I think so much of that is just due to his his mindset. You know, he comes from a basketball family. Basketball has been important to him. You see the shot making here. And I think the progression of his game has come in direct correlation to his approach. He's just the hardest working guy in the gym most days. He's he's gotten better with his pull-up game. He's gotten better with his three-point game. He's competitive defensively. He's got good wing size, and he can get and finish well above the rim. So he checks a lot of boxes for Xavier. How many boxes does he check for Sean Miller in his first incoming class here at Xavier? Well, I think for Sean Miller, you're trying to make a splash in terms of finding the prospects that fit your style and can score the ball. And with Trey Green and Reed, you've got two guys who can really, really score the basketball. But the other thing that Reed and Trey both provide is that competitive personality. You heard Reed talk about the fit alongside Sean Miller, and that's just so important to establishing your culture for any first year head coach. And so this is a player that's really going to go a long way to doing that. He's going to help you in the practice gym. He's going to help you in the locker room. And really, I mean, if you know anything about Sean Miller, it's that he likes workers, he likes competitors, and that is exactly what he is getting in Reed Ducharme. Yeah, certainly. And you mentioned that, that Reed has a uh, pretty rich basketball history. A lot of family members played the sport. I'm sure there's a lot of competitive action in their backyard uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. But how much does that help when you have not just the support from your family? I think a lot of kids can say that they have that. But the support, knowing that they've been there, they've done that before and can kind of guide him. You know, I've asked him about that. And he said it was just that much easier to fall in love with the game when you've got a sister, two sisters who play. His, his oldest sister played and just graduated from Brown. His youngest sister is getting ready for her sophomore season at UConn. She averaged 10 points per game as a freshman, so she's a national caliber talent herself. They've grown up competing against each other, talking about it at the dinner table. I mean, basketball has very much uh, been a big part of the Ducharme family, and uh, both parents were athletes. So I really just think um, it is it is in their blood, so to speak. I know that's cliche, but really grown up around it. And as he said, it, it has helped him fall in love with the game. And he, he comes across as a young man who certainly loves to play and loves to work at the game of basketball. To be able to see some of those pickup games, I bet that would be pretty epic at the Ducharme household. I'll finish with this. What does he need to do between now and when he steps foot in, in Cincinnati um, working on his game and maybe some of the off off the court stuff. What is it that he needs to be working on from now until then? Well, off the court, he's super solid. I mean, really high character young man. I think in terms of his game, it's the progression of his overall skill set. Um, he's made really consistent strides as a shooter. I thought that he was uh, someone who who could improve in that area a year ago. He's done that. He's got a pull up game. He's got three point range. Next up is the ball handling ability. You want him to be a little tighter with his handle. Um, and be able to change direction, handle against pressure, be able to operate as that third guard, so to speak, up at Xavier. But again, he is someone that that I believe is going to continue to evolve at each step along the way because of the way in which he works. We've seen that throughout the course of his high school game. If you don't want to work, you don't commit to Sean Miller. That's why this is a really good fit. And so does he have to work on the handle? Yes. Is the shooting continuing to improve? Yes. But I think those things are going to continue to happen because that's just this kid's DNA. It certainly seems like it. Adam, thank you so much for the time. I know Musketeers fans are super happy right now as Reed Ducharme is headed to Xavier. That's going to do it for this edition of 24 seven sports this wonderful recruiting thank you guys so much for joining us and be sure to like and subscribe to the 24 7 sports youtube page and have a great rest of your day